reading bedtime prayers tonight for Stanley, age six. Sometimes Stanley has difficulty settling to sleep. So these prayers will help you to feel safe and to know that no harm can come to you. And so the first thing I want you to do, Stanley, is to stand in the middle of your room and point to the four corners. And each time you hear the bell, you're going to point to a corner and you're going to know that when you point and hear the bell, an angel will emerge and stand there and will stay there all night long. Okay? I think you can do that. Okay, let's do it. By the way, if you're not Stanley, then you can we'll still watch this. <laughs> and if you're not six, you'll still find these prayers very helpful. They are prayers for the child within, whatever your age. And they are very beautiful in their simplicity. So I hope that you will find they help you to settle for the night and have a good night's sleep, feel safe and protected. And also feel good about who you are because the first prayer we're going to read is entitled Me. Here's me. There I am, look, with my hands in the air, feeling good about myself, feeling happy to be who I am, because nobody else can be you. I know I am me, from my head to my toes, my hands and my fingers, my ears and my nose. Whatever I do, and whatever I'll be, forever and always, I know I'll be me. Before I was made, God loved me. When I was born, God loved me. Now I am here. God loves me forever and ever. God loves me. God who made the earth, the air, the sky, the sea, who gave the night its birth, careth for me. God who made the grass, the flower, the fruit, the tree, the day and night to pass, careth for me. God who made all things on earth, in air, in sea, who changing season brings, careth for me. animals. Uh, 
hand, a little person, a little me, in the middle of it all, part of the earth and the rest of creation. Here's a little picture of a, a bird in a nest. And the prayer says, Dear God, I know I am only little. I can't be in charge of big things. But I know I am safe with God. As safe as a baby in its mother's arms. And that prayer is inspired by Psalm 131. Hand in hand with someone who loves me, I feel safe. Looking back to someone who loves me, I feel safe. Looking up to the God who loves me, I feel safe. On this page there's a picture of a little sheep. Can you see it? It's all on its own. Do you sometimes feel all alone? There's a story that Jesus told about a shepherd and the sheep. Long ago, there was a shepherd who had 100 sheep. One day, a little lamb went missing. The shepherd left the 99 safe in the green pasture. He went to look for his lost lamb. He walked over the hills and along the valleys. The hours went by. The sun began to set. At last the shepherd found his lamb. It had strayed a very long way. He was overjoyed to see it again. Gently, he picked it up and carried it home. When the lamb was safe with the flock, he called to his friends. I am so happy, he said. I have found my lost lamb. Please come to a party to celebrate. God is like that shepherd, said Jesus. When someone turns to God and asks to be brought back into the circle of God's love, all the angels sing for joy. And here they are, all the angels happen to be little children. Can you see them? Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side. To light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. This section is called A Child of God.
I wash my hands to make them clean and ready to do good. And God above will teach me how to do the things I should. Dear God, I say my prayers in the morning when the golden sun begins to shine. I ask you to show me what to do. I ask you to help me to be good. I ask you to take care of me and to keep me safe. I ask you to bless me and to make me happy. And that's from Psalm 5. This isn't a prayer, it's a few words from Mother Teresa of Calcutta. We can do no great things, only small things with great love. May my hands be helping hands for all that must be done, that fetch and carry, lift and hold, and make the hard jobs fun. May my hands be clever hands in all I make and do, with bricks and blocks, with sand and clay, with paper, paint and glue. May my hands be gentle hands, and may I never dare to poke and prod and hurt and harm, but touch with love and care. Whoever loves is a child of God, for God is love. I will love God with all my heart. I will love God with all my soul. I will love God with all my strength. I will love other people as much as I love myself. even the people who are unkind to me. I will pray for them. This prayer is from Julian of Norwich. She was a mystic. Oh God, as truly as you are our father, so just as truly you are our mother. We thank you, God our Father, for your strength and goodness. We thank you, God our Mother, for the closeness of your caring. Oh God, we thank you for the great love you have for each one of us. Dear God, thank you for being so good to us. Thank you for listening to our prayers. Thank you for the world we live in. 
the summer and the winter, the sunshine and the rain, the time for sowing seeds, and the time to gather crops. Thank you for all the good things the world gives to us. from Psalm 65. There's a little picture here of a little boy, I think it is, playing with, a, with his dog. The dog's jumping up and barking and wagging his tail. My dog does that. May all the world sing to our God, the angels in the height, the sun, the moon, the silver stars that glitter in the night, the oceans and the giant whales, the storms and winds and rain, the animals and birds on every mountain, hill and plain, and all the people, young and old, the wealthy and the poor sing praise to God who made the world sing praise forevermore. That was another song. You are my shepherd. You give me all I need. You take me where the grass grows green and I can safely feed. You take me where the water is quiet and cool and clear. And there I rest and know I'm safe for you are always near. Listen, said Jesus, the only thing that really matters is being part of God's kingdom. Don't worry about anything else. Look at the wild birds. They don't worry about sowing seeds or gathering a harvest. They know that God will take care of them. Look at the wild flowers. They don't worry about making clothes. Yet, God gives them petals that are more beautiful by far. If God cares so much about the birds and the flowers, you can be sure that God will take even more care of you. Oh, precious one. When you pray, said Jesus, say these words. Are you ready? Say them after me, a line at a time. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. 
your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Listen, said Jesus, the kingdom of God is like this. A person takes a tiny mustard seed and sows it in the ground. It grows into a tall tree. All the birds of the air come and make their nests in it. All different sizes and shapes and colours coming to the tree, landing there, making their nests. And you see them all. And the prayer is, dear God, shelter me in the kingdom of your God's Holy Spirit and there's a little person flying a kite let the spirit come like the winds that blow take away my doubts help my faith to grow let the spirit come like a flame of gold Warm my soul within, make me strong and bold. Put joy in my life, Spirit of God, make me good. Finally, some blessings. May God bless you and take care of you. May God be kind to you and do good things for you. May God look on you with love and give you peace. God the Father, high in heaven, hear my prayers and come close to me. 
God the Son, high in heaven, hear my prayers and come close to me. God the Holy Spirit, high in heaven, hear my prayers and come close to me. so sleepy your eyes can't keep open any longer but before you fall asleep listen to these words Lord keep me safe this night secure from all my fears may angels guard me while I sleep till morning light to sleep in peace. You alone, O oh Lord, keep me perfectly safe. Psalm 4 Now I lay me down to sleep. Pray thee, Lord, thy child to keep, thy love to guard me through the night, and wake me in the morning light. And the very last line of the Bible, may the grace of the Lord Jesus be with everyone.